I'm Michael Morris. I'm a uh, retired now, recently uh, rescue captain, Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, I spent 23 years, 10 of a fire on a fire truck, engines and ladder companies, then uh, the ladder 13 on a rescue as a rescue tech, then a lieutenant, and finally as a captain. A call came in for a student who fell off the roof at Providence College. So um, we were right next to it, so we uh, took the call. It was 3 in the morning, and uh, we got a lot of these calls from kids, college kids, fall off balconies and roofs and things, and it's usually not too bad. I mean, they're broken up pretty good, but not like this. I guess he had crawled out of a window onto the roof of a 10-story uh, dormitory building, him and a friend to have a smoke. It was icy out, and he slipped, and he went over the edge, and he fell 80 feet onto the cement. And uh, we pulled up the hill in the rescue. Engine company was on the way, the police were on the way, but we just happened to be next door. And uh, it was just horrifying. It was just, I'd never seen anything quite so uh, horrific, and the person still be alive. I'd seen other things, but they weren't alive, but this guy was still alive. And it was right around Christmas break, all well, decorations were out and everybody was kind of festive and there he was. We got him in the rescue and he was just broken up. His teeth were falling out of his mouth and his eyeballs had popped out and, and his arms were like hinged. So this, and, he, and he managed somehow through these broken arms and bones to grab onto my wrist while I was trying to help him. He was struggling doing IVs and stuff. And I'll never forget his eyeball that was on his cheek just popped up and made eye contact with mine. Never, uh, it's, I will never forget that moment. And uh, there was actually pleading in his eyes that weren't even attached. But we got him to the hospital and uh, we, you know, he did die eventually. But his parents made it to the hospital before he did. So I guess that was kind of a, a small victory. Another uh, Providence College, a week later, a, a young girl had uh, vomiting and, and she had been sick for a while. And so they called us for a ride to the hospital. Turns out she had bacterial meningitis. And uh, it was so different from the, the trauma call, but it was just as horrible because those kids die all the time with bacterial meningitis. So we took her to the hospital, and uh, they didn't know if it was a seizure, if she fell, if she had a head injury. Um, and I didn't know either, but she had seized like 10 or 12 times in the, in the rescue. And the same rescue the kid had died in, or almost died in the week before. And the connection, I just, it was the same school, the same age. I had daughters the same age in school, and it was just... I, it's kind of like a, something went off in my head, like if this kid doesn't make it, I, I'm not going to do this anymore. And I wouldn't have. I truly would have left. Not the job. I would have gone back to the fire truck and uh, it's a lot less personal on the fire engine. You go in, you do your job, the EMS guys come and take them away. Or you go to fires or, or electric, things like that. But uh, the EMS thing, I, I, I got into it because I, I enjoyed the personal connections that I was making, but these were a little too personal. And uh, anyways, throughout the night, I was working 38 hours straight. I kept going back and checking on her. Then her family started coming in, and uh, she wasn't supposed to make it. But through some miracle, she did, and she lived. And uh, the family was awesome. They actually uh, invited me to her college graduation, kept in contact, and I um, actually dedicated my second book to her and the boy that fell off the roof. So those are a couple of good story, bad story. It all equals out somehow you end up doing a, a, a long career and it's enjoyable and uh it's 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 trying even talking about it's trying